Oh my lord, y'all. <laughs> I have to run some errands. And I just realized I have four miles till I'm empty. I'm empty. I hope I've been frame. I hope y'all can hear me and see me and all that. I just got a car mount. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay. Um, uh, it is raining and pray for me when I get to the gas station on time before I run out of gas. It's literally like a mile on the street, so I don't think I'm going to run out before that, but y'all, you never know. But welcome to my channel. My name is Mallory, in case you are new here. Hi. Today's video... One moment, please. I hope the lighting's good and everything. If not, I greatly apologize. This is like the only time I had to film this video and I wanted to film it and get it up for y'all without interruptions or anything. So, I hope y'all stay if you're new and subscribe to my channel. If you are not new, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I appreciate it more than you know. The only thing is with this, I cannot see myself, so I have no idea if I'm recording any of this or not, which kind of sucks. <laughs> so, um, but I wanted to have a real heart to heart with y'all. And if I, my driving is distracting y'all, I'm sorry, but I have to go pick up dinner for my family because I've been editing nonstop all day long, multiple videos, and I need to go to the bank and deposit some money. So this is like my only chance to film a video. I mentioned it on my Instagram. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, I would love for y'all to follow me over there. I'm trying to be more active over there. Hold please. I'm trying to be more active over there. Um, so follow me over there if you want to. And today's video, I'm going to tell y'all where I've been, how I've been, and I'm going to be completely vulnerable with y'all. I have a couple of videos on my channel that I have been vulnerable, and um, I like to do that because y'all are my friends, and... I want to open up to y'all. I want y'all to know what I'm going through. I want y'all to know that sometimes life is really hard no matter what age you're at or no matter what you think you have together. Life is just hard and sometimes it throws you curveballs and you have to roll with the punches. So I'm going to tell y'all about what's been going on. And if I'm not looking at the camera, I apologize. I'm just trying to look at the road. Um, but I made a video, my last couple of videos. If you haven't seen them, you can go check them out. I had mentioned about my grandfather. It's my dad's dad. He lives in Virginia. And if you follow me on Instagram and you've seen my stories, you already know all this. But he passed away. I'm going to try not to get emotional in this. Um, and if I do, please forgive me. That's just my raw feelings. And if I cry, I cry. Then just know that it's sincere and I don't want sympathy. And I know other people have it rough in the world and I'm not the only one. And I know other people have it way worse, but this is just how I feel. So moving on. My grandfather has been really sick with cancer off and on. He had cancer. They removed it. It came back and um, it basically spread everywhere. 
and he lives in Virginia like I said I live in Georgia that's about five and a half hours away and with my husband Dusty working all the time it's really hard for me to and I feel horrible for saying this but it's really hard for me to find a weekend to just get away and go and visit um, so we heard the news that he was declining really fast and hospice had came to his house. Um, I had tried to came, come up there three times the weekend and just a lot of stuff was going on. Um, I'm not gonna mention it because it's personal and it has to do with family, so I'm not gonna mention that. But there was reasons why I could not make it out there. And my brother, me and my dad, I finally were like, okay, we're going. Like, this is when we're going. It was May 16th. I had left that Friday to go to my brother's house. He lives 45 minutes away from me. I drove to his house and he lives about five minutes from my dad's house. So we drove to, I drove to my brother's and I spent the night there and we were gonna leave early that morning to go to um, my grandfather's to say our goodbyes. We went and we got in bed after we had been talking all day or all night. We got in bed and about midnight, 12.30, my brother comes into the bedroom where I was sleeping and he just has this look on his face, and as soon as he opened the door, I just knew. I just had that gut feeling, and I even told my mom that night before, if I don't get to say goodbye and tell him I love him to his face, I'm gonna be heartbroken. And she just kept saying, you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna make it, blah, 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 everything will be fine. Well, he walked in the door and he just hands me the phone and it was my dad and he says, look, Papa died. I'm in the bank parking lot, so it's okay, okay? He said Papa died not too long ago. Um, but we can still come up there or whatever if we want to. So, we decided to wait. And you guys, I missed him by like, what, six hours? <laughs> I just feel bad because I didn't get to say I love you. And, What if he wondered where I was, or he had dementia towards the end, so my cousin said that she didn't know who he was, who she was, or anything, so, um, but yeah, that was really difficult. So then a couple weeks went by, and we went to his funeral service in Virginia and I spent almost every summer going there for my childhood. We would go there for Christmas and just walking into his house and him not being there or him not being in his chair. It was very It was very hard and like weird, very weird. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not good with words, you guys, okay? So, um, May 17th is the day he passed away. May 17th, on a side note, is a horrible day. Um, 
that is when I was 12 years old. Our family dog, our black lab, ripped my face off basically and I had to have plastic surgery. If you want me to do a story time on that, I'll tell you about that. Y'all can comment down below if y'all want a story time on that. But that also happened on May 17th and my brother um, got into a motorcycle accident on May 17th, died on the operating table. They revived him and he almost lost his arm. He has a huge scar around his arm from that and that happened on May 17th. So that day in general is just a very weird off day for me. So that happens. I've been having a lot of issues with some of my really close friends lately and it's really hard. I am one of those friends. Oh my God, I need to go to the gas station. You guys, this is what happens when you get sidetracked. Okay, I got gas. Oh my crap, you guys, this is... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This video is gonna be a hot mess, but you know what, that's my life. So, if your life is a hot mess like mine and you feel like you don't got shh together, then subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, now on to the dang bank. Got gas, we're good. I don't need to call Dusty to come rescue me. I was emotional in that last clip, so I'm glad I realized that I needed to go to the gas station so I could calm myself down. So, after my grandfather's funeral, we, I, we all got home. And I went to, the kids and I went to Florida to see my mom. That vlog, I think is going up before this, either right before this or right after this. I'm not sure if it's before this, I'll link it up in the description. So, now I'm at the bank, <laughs> depositing some money. Okay, money deposited, check. Now sanitize. I touch it. Damn. We went to Florida, that where my mom lives, and we stayed there for 11 days. If y'all been around to my channel a while and you've seen videos of me talking about like my anxiety and stuff, y'all know that my mom and I are very close. Like she is my best friend. Before she moved to Florida three years ago, three and a half years ago, we hung out every single day. When I moved out, we were always within like miles from each other, like five minutes with each other. So we were very close and she moved to Florida and I moved 45 minutes away from my hometown where I spent 30 years at, okay? Change is very hard for me. Change is good, don't get me wrong, but it's just hard for me. It takes a while for me to, for me to adjust to change. So, um, every time I get back from seeing my mom, I get really upset and depressed and kind of down and it takes me a few days, but then I'm okay. I pull myself together, I put my big girl pants on and I move about my life, right? Well, when we came back after that 11 days, I didn't even have time to really unpack you guys and we were leaving to go camping for the weekend. And so it didn't really set in or hit me or anything. Well, we went camping and then it set in after I got back. I got really depressed and upset and down. And if you've also been around a while, my there's a video I have on my channel. I'll try to remember to link that above also, but it's like toxic friendships or something like that. It's, I filmed it a few months back. And when I give my all, somebody behind me, 
when I give my all, when I'm in a friendship, I give my all. I probably give a little bit too much of myself, but I do. I give my all and I give it my all. Well, not everybody appreciates that, right? And that I'm also having some issues with those situations, friendship situations. Now, don't get me wrong. I have some great friends by my side that I don't know what I would do without. And I don't need to name any names, but y'all know who you are. Shout out to y'all for being as bomb as y'all are. Because if it wasn't for y'all, I don't know where the heck I would be. So then we get back and everything sets in. I miss my mom. I'm depressed. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna be completely real with y'all right now. Dusty and I got into a huge, huge fight. Probably one of the biggest fights that we've ever been in. And I thought we were gonna get a divorce. And I was scared. So we fight about money. This, I mean, I'm sure I'm, <laughs> I hate being vulnerable, but that's what I'm gonna do. One of our biggest fights is money. I'm a stay at home mom. He brings in all the money. I get child support from Kendall's sperm donor because she has never met her him, so that's what I call him. So I get child support from the state by him. Um, I didn't go after him, the state went after him. That's a whole another topic. But I do get child support from that. But other than that, it's all on him. And I had a job interview and I got a part-time job. I'm not gonna say where, but I got a part-time job. And just working a few days a week. And I think it would be very good for me. I'm still gonna do YouTube. I'm still gonna put out, I'm gonna try, like I said, at least one video a week. I'm aiming for two but at least I'm gonna do one video a week. I'm holding myself to that. I'm going to grind and bust it out. I have had some glimmer of hopes. I have had some rainbows like signs. I'm very big on signs. So I've had some signs that everything's gonna work out the way it is. It's supposed to. And I know everything it will. It doesn't change the fact that I'm human, you're human, and it we go through stuff and it's okay to feel and go through emotions and to cry and get upset. But just pick yourself up at the end of the day. So on top of all this, I get a call from my dad's mom who my, they're divorced. So my dad's dad that just died and my dad's mom, they're divorced. They're remarried, have been remarried since I was little or before I was born. So they're all my grandparents. So my other, my dad's, <laughs> My mom, my dad's mom, my dad's mom's husband, so my grandpa, my step-grandpa, but he's really my grandpa because I haven't known a life without him, right? He is in ICU. He has blood clots in his legs, a blood clot in his lung. They think he has pneumonia and his oxygen is really low. Every time he talks, it drops very, very low, so he's in ICU. So pray for me on that. And I don't know, I just heard that news and with everything going on and I think I have just snapped and I had to get away, you guys. And that's the longest I have ever been off of YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for almost, for two years actually. And I'm not even at a thousand subscribers because I am so damn inconsistent. And I know it's my own fault, but it's not my job. And I have anxiety issues and I can't, I can't make excuses anymore. I'm done making excuses. I'm filming a video at least once a week, twice a week, hopefully is my goal. And life is about to change and you're about to see a different Mallory. 
and I just have had enough. I needed a break from so much. And I love being a mom. Don't get me wrong, that is like the number one thing when people would say, what do you wanna be when you grow up? I wanna be a mom. That's the one thing I knew I always wanted to be. But when you got your kids 24 seven and they have not been in school since March, and I'm sure some of my moms can feel me. And like I said, I know Everybody has everything going on. I'm not the only one that has stuff going on. I'm just reaching out to y'all and explaining to y'all why I've been gone for two and a half months in a real, very minimal edited video with me and my friends. So, that's all I gotta say, really. Just, we're gonna end on a positive note and stuff is gonna change. And thank you to so many people, so, so many people that have reached out to me. I love y'all. And to all my subscribers that have stayed, I love y'all. And all my subscribers that continue to watch my videos. I don't even like to use the word subscribers, I like friends. To all my friends that have stayed, and stuck by me through me being MIA constantly. I appreciate y'all, and I promise I'm gonna try harder to not let y'all down, and in return, not let myself down. I love y'all, and thank you, truly, truly, for everything. If this video resonates with you in any sense, type of way or anything, please give it a like. Please share this video with anybody that you think could benefit from it. Please comment down below how y'all have been doing because I have missed y'all and I will see y'all on my next video. Make sure you're subscribed. It's free and hit that notification bell because it notifies you when I upload a video and I've got a ton coming. So, I love y'all. I love y'all and I hope y'all can really feel that from me telling you this from the screen. <laughs> but I love you and thank you so much for everything. I'll see you in my next video. Look you guys, I said I will find my rainbow. And I really hope that is showing up. But that is a complete full rainbow right after I film this video. Staying up all night.